hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you on how you can make your classic heels at home without any last firstly when making your classic heels the most important materials and tools to use are your fiber scissors narasu macro your twin one pin you also need screw nails and others which i'll put down in the description of this video I'm making a smaller size of heels, so I'm using my pattern to cut out the fiber. When making your heels, you need six fiber of your pattern. Four of the fiber should be complete, while the other should be kind of half because the front of the heels need to be soft and foamy. So I'm going to be using an old heel for these heels. So I'm making my own. So if you're making these heels with an old heel, you need to file the sole carefully after cutting it out. You need to file it with sandpaper and make sure it fits in. When wrapping your heels with your material, you need to be very careful. When I mean careful, you need to be extremely careful so you don't make any mistake. and trim out the excess carefully Apply your gum on the heels body and on the material you're using. Place your heel on the marked out area and pull it. Trim out the excess after folding. Apply your gum on top and under the heels and fold neatly. Then use a super glue to hold the sole and the heels together. 
Next is your shank. Shank is the most important material when making a heels because if there is no shank, there is no heel. So bend your shank according to your heels. Make sure it is bent correctly and it touches the ground, I would say. Place the shank on the fiber and mark out the circle. After that, use your punching plier to open the marked area. Use the punched fiber as a pattern to mark out the remaining fibers. Then punch them. Apply your gum on the fiber and on your shank. Let it dry for some minutes. Then put your two in one pin in the punch part of the fiber so it will fit correctly. It will guide the fiber and the shank. After that, place your shank and then keep the second fiber on top of the shank and follow the two in one pin guide. Use your hammer to hit it carefully. Apply your gum on the remaining fiber and follow the previous step. After that, Close the two in one pin in front and remove the other two at the back because that is where the screw nail will be. Then use a very light marker to complete the half fiber. Cut out your material, but make sure you use the drawing part of the material so it will be very easy when you're folding. When wrapping your fiber with the material, drag the material slowly so that you get a better result after folding. Watch out for part 2 guys. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, hit the subscription button and leave a comment in the comment section below. Bye bye.